everyone, it is day one of the readathon. It is Monday morning and I'm not quite awake now, but I will be because I have to go to work very soon. But before that, I do have some things to say because I have already managed to read 50 pages, which is great. I woke up last night at 3 a.m. and then I started reading and I also read a little bit in bed this morning before I had to get up. So. The book I'm currently reading is not a book that I showed you in my TBR video because... Let me just get it. The book I'm currently reading is a book that I started last weekend or this last Friday and I wanted to finish it before I start my TBR pile and that is Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. I have about 100 pages left and I really hope I will be able to finish those pages tonight. If not, that's okay, but I think I will be able to do it. I'm about to go to work and Zeus wants to come with me. But no Zeus, you have to be at home and take care of the apartment. Right? Okay ma. Okay ma. now Monday evening and I just finished my book. I finished it, we find it. This one, I won't tell you what I think of it because I will do that in my June wrap up so you will have to wait for that. But I finished it and I feel so happy. So the thing is, what am I going to read now? I have been thinking about that all day because as I said in my TBR video, I am very much of a moody reader and I often feel like picking up books out of the blue that I didn't plan on reading but I think I have decided to pick up A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Swap, which was also part of my TBR video so this is perfect and yeah I think that's it everyone it is now day two of the readathon and I made some reading progress last night because I managed to read 135 pages in my book which is so great because I spent last night reading and watching YouTube videos so I made quite a dent in this book and I of course plan to continue this book today I don't know if I will be able to finish it made but you will have to wait and see and also I would like to listen a little bit to my audiobook because I haven't done that so far during this readathon and I need to get on to that so that's the plan for today I have to leave in about 30 minutes so I do have half an hour to read now and then I will get back to you I am back home again and I don't know I maybe look like shit because outside it's raining and it's being very dull but who cares, because I wanted to show you what I'm currently doing. I'm not reading, I am editing a video that will go up tomorrow, hopefully. And try and look what it looks like. Yep. Every time I try to edit a video, my cat likes to come up in front of the screen and just be annoying. And he likes to sleep right here, so that it's almost impossible for me to see what I'm doing on screen. But yeah. He likes to just be annoying sometimes. I'm currently editing two videos which will go up this week and by the time this vlog is up you will have seen them. It is my top 5 Wednesday video and also a video about some changes that I have made in my reading life which I'm very curious to upload and see what your responses are. And that's it. I feel like I have so many videos to edit, but I only have these two. But I think it's because next week I'm going to film another bunch of videos. And that's because I have so many things I want to film. So you can look forward to that. Now he's seated right where he wants to be. Anyway, I am using iMovie on my Mac. When editing, let me see if I can start a film. Maybe he recognizes my voice. Hello, I'm back and I am sighing like crazy because 
I'm reading a book that I'm not really enjoying and that is A Darker Shade of Magic still. I mean, I just came to a realization that, as I said, I'm not really enjoying it. I find the plot extremely boring and I don't think it's good enough for a book. So I'm struggling, but I only have about 120 pages left and it's only five o'clock in the afternoon. So I really want to finish it anyway and I hope I will be able to do it tonight because then I won't have to read it tomorrow. But basically this book makes me not want to read, which is really sad. And the weather is really sad, it's raining and I just feel really grumpy right now and defeated because I was in the mood to read and then I realized that this book is not really that good. So. Let's see what happens. I hope I will be able to finish it tonight or at least tomorrow. It is now day three of the readathon and I finished A Darker Shade of Magic last night. I did it. So then I was thinking what do we want to read because I wasn't in the mood for any of the books on my TBR list for the readathon. So instead I decided to pick up an ebook, Three Souls by Janie Chang which is a very interesting book. It's kind of like A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, but at the same time it, it's nothing like that one because A Christmas Carol is about Christmas and death and regretting what you've done in life. This book is about a woman who dies and then she is being visited by three souls who follow her through her life because we are told as a reader that something went wrong in her life. And we don't know what it is yet. I'm about a hundred pages into the book and I'm in love with it. So I'm very pleased that I decided to go for this one. And I forgot to mention yesterday that I also listened a little bit to my audiobook, Trigger Warning by Neil Gaiman. And I plan on continuing doing that just now. Let me show you. When I listen to audiobooks, I like to color in this beautiful, beautiful coloring book. And let me show you some inside photos. This is the first one and I colored it, I'm so proud. And then we have some more pages. Basically, it's just a book full of designs that you can color. I'm currently coloring this one and I'm just in love with this book. It has so many pages and it takes me hours to color the pages, but I love doing it while listening to my audiobook and that's exactly what I'm going to do now so I will be back again later. By the way before I start coloring I need to ask you a question and that is about my bookshelves. I feel like I need to reorganize them. I'm not very happy with the way they look right now. I feel like it looks very jumbled and not very beautiful. So I have contemplated reorganizing them in colors not because I'm coloring in my coloring book these days, but because I think it looks super pretty. And let me just show you the shelves. So here they are. Let me give you a full view. I think it looks kind of mixed and jumbled and I don't like it because we have some shelves, for instance, this one where the books aren't the same height. And then we have this beautiful shelf that I'm in love with. But then we have this one that is kind of the same height, but not at the same time. I don't know. I just think that maybe it would look pretty to organize them in colors. So if you would like for me to organize them in colors, or if you have any other ideas as to how I can organize them so that it looks prettier than it does right now, please let me know in the comments. And then I will do a video about my reorganization of my shelves sometime later.
now day four of the readathon and I just got home from work and let me just start with telling you normally I would be at work from let's say eight to four each weekday and this month June is very not normal in my case because my students have exams and they study for their exams during June and all I have to do is to prepare the exams and then go through with them so I don't have a lot to do. Some years I do have a lot of exams but this year I don't so in case you were wondering how I can be that much at home these days then that's the reason. But today I had some exams and I just got home from work and I also went to the library because there were two books waiting for me and let me just show you the books. First we have Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, which I've been wanting to read for a very long time. And then we have I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. And this one is a young adult book I'm very excited about because a lot of people keep saying that this is their favorite book. At least it was a lot of people's favorite books of 2014. So these two books are definitely going to be read this week or next week. So let me just give you a reading update. Last night I finished Trigger Warning by Neil Gaiman and I immediately put a review up on Goodreads so I always do that when I finish books so if you are interested you can go check that out and I also read another hundred pages of Three Souls by Janie Chang which I started yesterday so I'm now about 200 pages into that book and Basically, I now have a lot of time to read because tomorrow is Friday and I don't have to go to work and Saturday I do have some plans but that's only during the afternoon and Sunday I have no plans. So that means I have a lot of time now to finish this readathon with a bang and just read, read, read and also watch a little bit of Netflix. Anyway, I went to the groceries and I got me some nice things. I got me some strawberries. I don't think they look that good actually, they are not that red, but that's all I could get. And then I got something for my sweet tooth because I need that sometimes. So I got me some Snickers and I plan on eating that during the weekend while reading. And that's basically my plan for this weekend. now Thursday night it's about 8 o'clock and I just finished the most amazing book I didn't think I would finish it today but I did and that is Three Souls by Janie Chang I loved that book and I'm so sad that it's over I didn't think it would finish when it did I thought I had a few more pages left but I didn't so I feel a little bit weird now I mean, when you finish a book that you really like, you have this feeling inside you that, yeah, maybe you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to watch a, an episode of House of Cards now, and then I will pick up one of the two library books. I think, I think, I'm not sure, but I think I might pick up I'll Give You the Sun, and then power through this one tonight and tomorrow, and maybe finish it, I don't know. And then afterwards... It's time for Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I am now outside and the weather is absolutely gorgeous. And <laughs> I'm filming outside. I feel a little bit self-conscious. Anyway, I'm going to read in this lovely weather. Going to read this amazing book right here. I don't know if it's amazing. I haven't read it yet. Anywho, reading progress. Last night I started let me see the Mindy Kaling book. We should hang out sometime. The audiobook. And I don't know who Mindy Kaling is. <laughs> Day 6 of the readathon, it is Saturday and it is time for a reading update. Yesterday I started I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson and I finished that book this morning. And then today 
I plan on continuing my audiobook. We are, what is it called? Cat Mindy Kalings. Uh, is, any, is everybody hanging out without me? That's the title. And I also plan on picking up a new book. And I think it's going to be Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. That's what I may be in the mood for, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe not. I just quickly want to show you what I'm currently painting, which is this double-sided picture. And this is going to take me some time to finish, but that's also some of the plans for today to continue on with this coloring. So the readathon is now officially over. I didn't vlog yesterday because I didn't want to. I, I wasn't in the mood for it, so I just didn't do it. But here's an update. This is what I read during the week, plus two and a half audiobooks and one ebook. And I also started another ebook. So in total, I read 2,371 pages during one week. I'm very proud of that. Thank you for following me around for a week. Have a great day everyone and happy reading. Bye bye.